ducha, kurwa. Just a couple of days ago, we saw an attempt at the ultimate form by my friend Squall. Now, what is exactly an ultimate form and why does everyone want to get it? Is it hard to get it? And can you get it as a free-to-play player? And what are your odds of getting one? So let's start from talking about the, the stats of the ultimate form. Well, if you look at the raw stats, they do not seem to be very strong when compared to legendary forms. However, the first thing you may notice is that the running speed is maxed, meaning that once you get the ultimate form, you are running permanently with a cap movement speed. Now, the second and mo most important thing is that both cast and attack speed are boosted with the ultimate transformation, and even other stats are boosted as well by huge values. Now, this may not seem very important, but the fact that the ultimate transformation gives such high stats also helps you break the so-called ceiling or cap of attack speed, which without an ultimate form you would not be able to effectively go above. So, in Aeon, all weapons and cast, uh, cast weapons too have a maximum or rather minimum of attack speed, which is half of the base of the weapon which you are currently looking at. So say you start from 2, you would get a minimum of 1 attack speed given all the buffs. That was traditionally what was happening before patch 6.0 with such transformations. Imagine if you could go beyond that attack speed. Now this is exactly what the ultimate forms allows you to do. And this is why many players want it besides as I said before, the, the movement speed which is boosted very much by the transformation. Another important aspect of the ultimate forms in my opinion is that just like in every MMORPG there are very difficult items to obtain. Here in Aeon the ultimate forms have some kind of a vanity aspect besides all the stats that you get with them. So say that you are a very rich player, you are very lucky and you get four ultimate transformations, four different ones. Now you are very popular in the game, so there is some kind of a, I want to say, status aspect with the ultimate transformations that comes with getting all of them. Let's get back to one of the main topics of this video, which is how do you get the ultimate transformation if it is so hard to obtain, if it is so important for each player? Everyone wants the ultimate transformation. Well, there are mainly two ways, I would say. One is true events and the other one is through combination of legendary forms. Starting from events, I would say that it depends on your publisher or developer and region you are playing under. For Russia, for example, we know that they give out very custom events and sometimes they are even quite pay to win, but you tend to get what you want. Here in Europe, for Gameforge, we have seen very poor events somehow. We usually do not get directly to an ultimate transformation, just like I'll show you before. And finally, in NCSoft regions, I will say that it is a middle ground between Russia and Europe. There are many ways through events to get an ultimate form, but they all rely on luck. So you may wonder, how can you get it for sure? Well, let me show you through some maths and hopefully not to our statistics. Before we begin, I just want to say I'm not an expert in maths or statistics. What I'm going to show you is very simple at a basic level and will be directly applied to the theory that I have applied to the fusion system. This is just to provide you with the tools and ideas to make an investment in, with your time or money if you want to spend money in the game and understand which are the best strategies to obtain an ultimate transformation. Anyway, there are for sure people that can explain what I'm going to show you much better on YouTube or you can just Google binomial probability or binomial distribution and you will find a lot of articles which will explain what we are going to talk about. I will just briefly show you what is the theory behind what I'm going to talk about, but I will provide you with a very practical tool and some ideas to face this problem better. So the problem is you want to combine 
six agenda reforms. So this is the maximum probability of success for our attempt. So we know that P, which is the probability of the positive outcome is 0.1375. I think this is the correct number. I took this from Aeon Power Book, which is usually correct. So we know that if we combine six legendary forms once, the probability of getting an ultimate is this number. You may wonder how many attempts do I have to make to get uh, for sure an ultimate form? Well, this is very hard to answer with a simple answer, but let me guide you through this. There is a formula which will help us in getting that number. The formula is basically, well, first, the problem is I want to get one ulti from a certain number of um, combination of six forms. So to get this number, the formula is very simple. We have to divide the number of what we want, just one positive outcome, one, divided by the probability, which is 0.1375. The result, I've already done this calculation, it is around 7.2 or 8, if you want to round it up to be safe. So just to be clear about what we said, this thing does not mean that you are guaranteed to get one form. So you may wonder why I'm just talking about this. Well, you may say that there is RNG, but let's be more detailed about what RNG is. I'm sure you have already seen something like this. And no, it is not a wave. So this is more about a bell, I would say. What we just calculated here lies precisely in the middle of the distribution of the, I would say, attempts that we could make with this combination. Most of the attempts by following this strategy will lie within this range, which is plus one standard deviation or minus one standard deviation. To be precise, this is around 68%. So what this means is that we don't know yet the standard deviation of our strategy. I will show you later, but, and I promise I will not go into detail about it, but let's just say that with a certain degree of confidence, you may follow this strategy. And let's say that with around this percentage of probability about the same strategy, we will have a certain outcome, which is what we want. I've opened the MI Excel table that I wanted to show you with some formulas and to get more in detail about the strategy. So what I was saying before is that you may follow different strategies, combine six, four or, or two. In general, you see that if you combine less forms, you are supposed to have a lower probability of getting what you want. Well, this is balanced by the fact that I've not taken into account the fact that you get some forms back when you fail, starting from a combination of four legendaries. But I would say that in general, following this strategy, combining six forms is usually better. A bad news I want to say, which is the standard deviation of the test is very high compared to what we want to, to get. So it means that there is a quite high probability of getting zero or two transformations when you are testing this strategy. Going to the plots, I would say that the most interesting one to check is the strategy around 12 legendaries, which is what's pretty much what Squall did in his last stream. Uh, so let's say that you have 12, you want to combine, combine them with the best strategy possible. Well, the numbers say that if you combine six, you have the best probability, but there is a but. If you combine four, or if you combine two, you are you probably will get some legendary forms back. So you are moving higher in the list and your probability is slightly increasing. So I will say that more or less, as long as you combine four or more and you get your legendary form back, 
you can pretty much decide to combine four, five, or six. I would say six is the best strategy, but it's up to you, honestly. As long as you do not lose your uh, legendary forms by failing and getting an ancient form back. Because I'm more of a data-oriented guy, I decided to roll down a couple of Python lines of uh, code to test what I just showed you. So let's get to the notebook and I will show you the results of all the analysis. Here we are on the notebook. So what I wrote here in Python is a very simple function. What I want to do in this specific case is I'm going to test on eight attempts of combination with six legendary forms, how many ultimate forms will I get? So in other words, I want to test if what I told you just some minutes ago is true. If this is enough to get one ultimate form in most cases, I think testing this 10 times will be enough to see if this is more or less true. So my expectation is that given what we saw before, there will be three, around three cases where we get zero ultimate transformations. Let's see if this is true. Of course, the test I just showed you is not enough to prove my point, but in general, you saw that just like I described in the distribution of probability, we got three cases in which the guy who bought 48 legendary transformations got nothing. But there were in general more cases with positive outcome following pretty much the statistics that we described in the Excel and the, in the through our simple formula in the, at the beginning of the video. If I had to pick the thing that surprised me the most in making this video is that the ultimate form seems to be still very, very hard to get. Even with such a high number of legendary forms, around 50, just like we tried with our average attempt to get one ultimate form, it seems to be very complicated. I do wonder what is the plan for the developer and the publisher, GameForge, to help us get an ultimate form. And Generally speaking, I think the game has moved into a direction which reminds me of mobile games where, you know, you have some monsters with one star, two stars, three stars, and you have to combine many to get the next level of the same monster. I think this is pretty much the same thing, which is very sad to me. And to be fair, I have to say there have not been many events that have helped us in getting the ultimate form. and. I do understand why Squall was so sad at the end of the live stream, but by running my numbers once again, I'm more aware of what I'm going in to face if I try to get one ultimate form. And as of now, I have to confess, I'm not sure if I really want an ultimate form at this point. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.